Hello friends, welcome to my channel Electrical Master. This video I am going to explain about how AVR is working and how we can connect AVR to the diesel generator and what are the terminals in the AVR and what is the function of each uh, terminals also we will see in this video. If you are visiting my channel first time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Then you will never miss our updates. Let's go to the video. See this is the AVR automatic voltage regulator and this video we are going to discuss about AVR uh, the model number H6460 model for the three phase generators. Normally AVR means automatic voltage regulator and AVR is used to control and maintain the diesel generator output voltage to the desired volt. Suppose whenever the load if you are increased, the generator speed will be decreased. Suppose the speed will be decreased means frequency and voltage also will be decreased. So it affect the output voltage of the diesel generator. So we want to maintain the, our output voltage of the diesel generator remain constant for all operation. Even if it is the uh, over, even it is the full load or no load, we want to maintain the constant output voltage. For the purpose we are using automatic voltage regulator or AVR. Now we will see how the AVR is working. Suppose whenever the DJ output voltage is decrease the desired voltage. For example, we have the DG, the output voltage should be 430 volt or 420 volt output voltage. Suppose DJ output voltage is less than 420, like 410 voltage is have. That time this AVR will sense the output voltage and increase the rotor field current and to maintain the DJ output voltage. So AVR is giving the input to the rotor. So rotor field current will increase, output voltage also will be increased. Similarly, the output voltage is above the desired value. Suppose output voltage is uh, like 430, but our generator is a 420 volt desired voltage. So we want to decrease the output voltage. At that time, AVR will decrease the rotor field current to maintain the output voltage to 420. In this way, AVR is working. Now we will see what are the terminals in the AVRs. See here, this is the picture of AVR SX460 model. And this is the four terminal is important. You can see here this picture F1, F2, and neutral and phase. These terminals, this F1 and F2 used for the rotor winding excitation. From this terminal only we are giving excitation to the rotor to control the field current. Neutral and phase, it is connected from output of the diesel generator. This is actually sensing the output voltage. From this uh, feedback, KVR is giving the input to the field winding. Whenever the voltage is high or low, from this two point only AVR is sensing and this point is the potentiometer using this potentiometer we can adjust the output voltage or setting voltage of the diesel generator suppose we want to make diesel generator output voltage 410 or 420 or 430 you can adjust from this potentiometer and here you can see this four terminal will be there this four pin first to two pin is for the external control suppose we want to connect this AVR to our controller of the DG normally uh, we know deep sea control is nowadays we are using for the diesel generator so we want to connect this AVR to the uh, deep sea controller take this two point to the deep sea controller input from the deep sea controller you can easily monitor the output voltage and also set the AVR output voltage from the controller for the purpose this two pin will be used suppose you are not using the external uh, control just make it short like this see this picture like this you have to short and this two terminal we want to make short this is the input of the AVR the AVR working means it needs some input so we will use these two pin make it short and the AVR should be uh, get the input and this side you can see uh, another three terminal will be there the center terminal it will be common and this set terminal for the 50 hertz frequency and this set terminal for the 60 hertz frequency. So now our generator is if it is 50 hertz or 60 hertz we need to check. If it is 50 hertz means 
we need to make short from common and the center point and the uh, right side terminal make it short like this and the picture shown same we have to make it short uh, you will get the 50 hertz frequency for this AVR control and this said potentiometer used for the stability control it, this is also helpful for the adjustment of the output voltage actually this voltage potentiometer you can adjust the value from like 4, 10, 20, 30 like higher values suppose you want to make the fine value adjustment like uh, 4, 15, 4, 16 like this uh, fine value you can to help with this stability potentiometer you can adjust that uh, round points and these are the component uh, which is uh, uh, in this AVR now we will see how this AVR is connected in the diesel generator what is the uh, how the wiring diagram is connected we will see see this is the uh, diesel generator three phase diesel uh, output supply diesel generator uh, three phase supply RYB and neutral output will be this side line will be there from that line they are connecting the AVR see the same AVR uh, picture is I connect uh, I draw here I already told F1 F2 is for the rotor excitation supply see this is the rotor winding the rotor winding excitation supply will be connected to F1 and F2 terminal similarly uh, last two pin neutral and phase see here from the output side neutral is connected directly and either any one of the phase will be taken with the fuse 5 ampere for the protection purpose connected here so now the AVR is sensing the output voltage if it is uh, based on the our desired value if it is above or decrease it will give the input to the rotor winding to control the output voltage similarly this side I already told it is used for the external AVR control like a deep sea controller if you are using deep sea controller you can connect this point to the deep sea controller you can control that AVR output voltage and the monitoring from the deep sea controller also no need to adjust here and make it this terminal 3 and 4 for the input supply of the AVR similarly uh, this is the frequency control if you want 50 hertz means you have to make short for C and common terminal C and 50 last to the left side terminal this is for 50 hertz suppose if you make short link for C and the 60 side you will get the 60 hertz frequency and this potentiometer for the stability adjustment of the voltage so these are the connection diagram normally connected in the DG to the AVR now uh, I hope you will understand what is AVR how it is working and uh, how we can connect the AVR to the diesel generator and how to we adjust the voltage in the AVR also you will understand suppose if you have any doubt don't worry you can write it in the comment I will give the reply and if you really like this video please give a thumbs up and share this video to your friend circle Thank you so much.